Hello. Hello. Uh, uh. Uh, it's me. I get a badge that says honest yay. I had my my microphone monitoring thing on and it scared me. Oh, Sender subscribed with Prime. Wait, you got a badge? Oh, you do get a badge. Oh my gosh. Um, so, um, my, my last stream, I, I, like, I spent the entire thing boring. What the hell? Um, I spent the entire last stream, like, dunking on Sony because there's been a lot of really weird, like, PlayStation related news recently. Uh, they, they announced the PS5 Pro and they shut down a game. Oh, see you later. I love you too. What the fuck? Um, the, 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 they announced the PS5 Pro. Play Movie Star Planet. <laughs> Um, they announced the PS5 Pro uh, right after releasing Astrobot, right after releasing and then immediately shutting down Movie Star M Movie Star Planet. Fuck, not Movie Star Planet. Uh, some game called Concord, um, which was like the, their Overwatch clone that they had in development for eight years. Uh, so it's been a really weird like few weeks for PlayStation, and they're just now, I, I, I think because of Tokyo Game Show, they're doing a state of play. Uh, and like, the, it, it's, it's really weird timing for them. Fantasy Star Online for Dreamcast has more concurrent players than Concord. You could say that about any game though, isn't it just offline? Maybe maybe this time they'll announce Bloodborne for PC. Maybe maybe it'll be this time. I don't know. Um, fan servers for Concord. Is is that a thing? Um. Oh, also Boots is here. By the way, I I I. My apologies. I didn't introduce Boots. Hello, Boots. I was- I, I- I wanted to, like, set the stage for what's going on because this whole situation is kind of a mess. Uh... Hello! I'm having some technical difficulties. Oh, that's okay. Uh, the box I was gonna use to join is having an issue, so I gotta switch to another on short notice. That's okay. Just give me- That is understandable. Uh, I do need to stream the screen to Boots, actually. Uh... Boots asked me to only stream in 720p, and I can only stream in 720p anyway. Um, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, the, the, there's a whole lot going on. What is this? Oh. Okay, that didn't show up on the stream, but uh, there was just like a barrage of links that uh, got posted by spam accounts. Whoops. Barrage of links. Uh, be like, yeah, 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 yeah. So true. We're very quiet on this microphone. Right. That, might, that might be uh, the fan causing some voice filtering. Let me turn that off. Oh, possibly. I um, turned it higher. Okay. There. There we go. It's still oh, pretty basically. quiet. I've turned you off. Okay, then let me change my game control so that oh. it'll not be a hassle from this device. Mm -hmm. Some settings, audio. Good lord. Oh, this background music is from Nobi Nobi Boy. It's um like acoustic guitar variations of music from Katamari. Uh. Sorry, there is a lot happening with this with this state of play thing, and it's about to start. I kind of I, pr I, pr I probably should have given more time to talk about this. 
Uh, it's twice in a couple of minutes. Those are, those yeah, are I'm, whole I'm gonna, lot. I'm gonna show you this interesting little leak that I saw. There's something that might be in this. Oh? Goodness, where did the window go? Ooh. Uh, this thing. Wait. Oh lord. Um, yeah, I don't know, I, th there isn't, th there's been like rumors going around about how they might be announcing like, <laughs> fucking Days Gone Remastered or something. <laughs> They will announce Sackboy to- I hope that they announce the Sacked Child. I don't know. Riley, you gotta see this. This is crazy. Whoa, is oh. this real? Wait, oh. Oh my god. Wait, I need to- I need to- Oh no. Is this what I- is this what I think it is? Is it- could it be- Oh, oh, oh. Insane. Oh my. Wait, let me full screen this. Let me let me zoom in on this. What what could this what could this mean? What? Oh. Do you think this is real? It's got to be real. I mean, those are oh. Disney characters and there's Sora right there. Yeah, that's that's Sora. That's Sora too. That's the, uh Red Sora. Red Sora, yeah, that's uh, Space Sora, that's, uh, Green Sora, uh, that is Buff Sora, that is Buffer Sora, that is Yowie Hand Sora, uh... Don't th call him Yowie Hand, no. Come <laughs> up with some other descriptor, That like is anything. That is Furry Sora. That is Furry Riku. Uh, this is messed up. This is so messed up. This is wild. Do you think it's gonna be woke? I don't know. Do you, do you think? I mean, Kingdom Hearts is already woke. It's on. It's on the list. Do Fair we know? point. Fair point. Pretty wait. woke, I say. Wait. Hold on. Let me. Oh, it's literally. Wait. The thing literally started, and I got distracted. Wait. Well, it's okay, it's oh. only starting. Yeah, wait. Oh, gosh, they're, they're announcing stuff for Astro Bot. Let's just rewind. Let's uh, not care about being back. It's not really that big of a deal, it's just okay, Astro Bot so stuff. They added levels to this game, that's pretty cool, I'd say. Is that what's going on? That's pretty neat. Um, yeah, they're showing off like speedrun levels. That's pretty cool. So these are gonna be like challenge levels to reuse assets from the main game. Pretty efficient, I see. I'd say. I think Ooh, Sackboy did that I as well. Uh, but yeah, so the, the last state of play, it's actually kind of interesting, the last state of play they announced this game, and since then it's released, why is it flossing? Why was it flossing? So my apologies if the video is quiet, but Boots is also quiet. Things are just quiet today. I'm so quiet. I'm so not talking. You're actually fine, I think. It sounds okay. Who is this French guy? I wasn't paying attention. Who is this? What? He's real! Oh my god. Um, do you think they'll announce uh, <laughs> French Run? Oh. Is this a video game? I don't know. It looks like not Sackboy. It's like a VR game. Oh, you know. Okay, huge like paranoia uh, prediction here. Uh, Media Molecule have been working on a new game. They could hypothetically announce it in this. I pray Media Molecule has been working on a new game. Th I mean, they have I been. I mean, I don't think they just ended support for Dreams to sit around and do nothing. No, they, they literally, like, when they ended support for Dreams, they were like, yeah, we're working on another thing as well. How do we know that that's not an animated movie? Is this not an animated movie? It looks really good, actually. I haven't been commenting on this. This looks amazing. 
I knew it, VR. It looks fantastic, yeah. It this does. Is insanely pretty. It kind of gives me the vibe of like... Just know it's gonna be like 80 gigabytes though. Oh, well yeah, I mean, that's just every PS5 game. But like... Yeah. This is kind of like... Kind of feels like... It reminds me of if like Tearaway was like... Clay, a clay, claymation... Uh, what, what do you call it? Stop motion animation. A little bit. Media molecule. Seeing the like, second craft inspired game. Moonhood? Does that have anything to do with the Neverhood? I don't remember when it happened. The Neverhood is pretty good. We got water. I remember how I felt. Is this water? Father is... told us we got trees too. You start a trailer the PS5 like this. Is a crazy system. It really is. This could be anything. You, you start a trailer like this. This could be anything. This could be Alan Wake too. Just as quickly as it could be a fucking sack boy of a big adventure expansion. Maybe. <laughs> I guess so. Is it, uh... Okay, it's either an online, uh... Uh... W w w what do you call it? A hero shooter? Or it's, uh... Maybe it's Helldivers? Or maybe it's... Uh... dogs on the stove. Little Big Planet movie where Sackboy has realistic human teeth. No. He has no. realistic human teeth in the games, though, haven't you seen? I don't like how this has the generic Sony game camera, but everything else about it looks pretty neat. Yeah, I mean, that's just kind of what he has to deal with at this point. I don't know. It's just called Hell? Is? Oh, no. Oh? Us? Yeah, it does look good. Those are just it, nitpicks. Yeah. It's pretty interesting. Looks like a game that is coming out on the PlayStation 5. Death Stranding 2. The new knack. Hell oh, no, it is, is us. Hell. hell is us. Hell is us. Hell is us. Hell oh, is it's us. Nacon. Oh. Oh, no. That's, Not Nacon. Those are the golem they don't, guys. They don't give their games anywhere near enough. They don't give their games anywhere near enough budgets. Yeah. Uh oh. I mean, that could mean that it like it, it might be like interesting as a low budget game, but maybe not. Uh, like I'm glad yeah. Nacon exists, but also I don't think they put out a good game yet. I don't know. If they, uh, wait, they put on they put out the uh, the RoboCop game, and that was like uh, that that had a pretty low budget, yeah. and it ended up being pretty good. I think. That's neat. I think that was Nacon. Yeah, recently they put out a test drive game, and like I'm a big fan of that series, and like. Did you not hear any of that? Yana, is that you? Stream just got interrupted by an extremely loud German McDonald's ad. No, that's 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 just this. I feel like I'm losing yeah, there. German McDonald's is coming to the PS5. Yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't even focus on this game. Is this a Metro VR game? Uh, maybe. Oh yeah, it is. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's actually German be. McDonald's. That's Big Mac. So, how does it feel? What is this? Uh, why do all these look the same? No. Get me when I get to see the fifth in a row uh, action game with uh, like uh, fighting and uh, dodge rolling on that uh, with a orchestral trailer and beautiful realistic graphics on the PlayStation 5. Yeah, sorry, I, I upped the resolution. The bitrate is still ass. And yet, you have been granted another chance in Aurora. The bitrate on these is so bad. Oh, sorry. No, I think about it. This could be Dragon's Dogma, this could be Final Fantasy, I don't even know. I don't- this doesn't look like a Final Fantasy. It looks like a Witcher. I don't know, God of War even. Do you think it's more spoken? Do I think it's what? Force spoken. I, you are, sorry, you are so quiet, what?
I said, uh, do you think it's Forspoken? Oh. Forspoken is like a messed up thing. Like, I, I, I don't really know I what happened with that game. I freaking ghost with a sword made out of magic. I feel like it was a situation where, like, happening. <laughs> <laughs> the promotion for that game was, like, so god-awful. But, like, people didn't really give it a chance. I haven't played it, but, like, I've heard it's, like, not that bad for what it is. I really like the concept of, like, a high-budget fantasy. Like, uh, forgive me for using a weeby term. Oh. Like, story. Oh, no. Oh. oh the, I oh. incredibly do not care. <sighs> So this is the other thing that's been going on recently. Um, Nintendo is suing the company behind this game. And part of the reason why is because they're bringing it to PS5 and it's also... I mean, well, that, that's actually not necessarily part of the reason why, but like... It, the timing lines up with like the announcement of it coming to PS5. Uh, but it is mainly just because it was doing so well. When it's like essentially just Pokemon designs. Yeah, it's ripoff Pokemon designs with ripoff Arc Survival Evolved gameplay. Yeah. And I don't want Nintendo to win the lawsuit because it sets a bad precedent. Yeah. But I'm not rooting for Pal World like in general. That's kind of the take that a lot of people like had. It. It's it's too <laughs> heartbreaking. Two of the worst people you know have an excellent point. Incredible open world survival game that's launching today on the PlayStation 5. Yeah, it seems pretty bad. I don't know. I, I don't really care. I, played some of it. I did not have fun. I just got like PTSD from all of the time I spent trying to like Arc Survival Evolved and failing. Yeah, but what is this? What is going on? RPG, what suddenly. Is a PS5 showcase? I don't know. I guess it's a PS1 it's not game. Even HD 2D, just a 2D game. I, I don't know. Remastered collection brings together Lunar, the Silver Star story complete, Gung Ho, two Eternal Blue complete with updated visuals. I don't like the font. They always mess up the font in these. But the animation looks good. I love anime. Lunar Remastered Collection comes to PS5 and PS4 in I want more like... orchestral trailers with photorealism, Unreal Engine 5 graphics, and ray tracing. Damn. Yeah. First, the radical I don't want fun. DLC, which adds Mondo Gecko. Oh, I mean, this is actually pretty nice. I'm gonna take down my little, uh... And for no extra cost, oh, wow. a remixed oh, wow. in-game soundtrack featuring some amazing I... guest composers. And a man of Gucci. Gucci. I love those guys. Gucci. And a man of Gucci. I love Anamata Gucci, they're awesome. They're pretty good. That's a really oh. nice gaming update. That's, is this... That, a, oh, is that Son Sonki? Sonki? Actually, good announcements. Is that Sonki? Two good announcements back to back? Sh Shlato? Okay, this is just crazy now. Is this based on the movie? Oh, it is. Oh, it's a and game, yes, it's a game right. tie-in for Keanu the movie? Is Keanu Reeves? What the fuck? Okay. Oh wait, no, that's an oh, actual wow. part of the upcoming game. This upcoming yeah, is like three damn. Footage of the tie-in the in the game. The for the and that is like the best 12. possible thing you could have done. The that's wild. Movie pack is included in the digital deluxe edition, this is suddenly like lets you play the, game three days ahead the of highest of budget Sonic release. game, just because they got Keanu Reeves. That makes an actually good video game that has Keanu Reeves yeah. in it. <gasps> oh! Oh! Mistwalker! Uh, Hironobu Sakaguchi! Oh, <laughs> there, there he is! Oh my god! Oh. Oh. I wasn't expecting them to actually make me happy. Yeah, that's really cool. I like how this game uses pre-rendered backgrounds. It looks very nice. This guy knows what's up. Games really should use pre rendered stuff more. Beautiful game. If you yeah. don't limit yourself to what the action can do, you limit your, limit yourself to what you're trying to do. Oh, you can't move the camera around. I don't care. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> it does a lot for, like, the composition of, like, game visuals. It's very cool. This is a banging state of play, but like, the, these are games that we already knew were coming out. So like, I, I, I don't know. I haven't actually heard about Dragon Age Failguard. All I saw was its character creator. I think Dragon Age Inquisition is a little underrated, albeit a bit generic, so I think this might actually be a bit of a hit. 
Wasn't Dragon Age Inquisition like game of the year when it came out? Nobody cares about it nowadays, is my point. Oh, I see. It's a bargain bin game. Yeah. I mean, all games are bargain bin games at a certain point. Right, but it's literally one of the cheapest games I've seen one of the biggest publishers have. I got it for like a dollar fifty cents. Oh, dang. Digitally. Yeah. We need to lure her out to have any chance. I find it funny that I hope this keeps the strategy. So the I like being able to open. like leave the battle for a moment and then just kind of slowly think things through and start commanding your units before you return to the hack and slash gameplay. That hybrid style was really nice. If this one's just a hack and slash, that sounds really interesting. I mean, that that sounds unique enough that like I don't know why they would drop that, but. At the same time, this is like an EA game, right? Yeah, it's an EA game. And when yeah. has EA made good decisions? Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I find it funny that the acronym for State of Play is SOP. Come on! SOP! Okay, so there's hack and slash gameplay. When are we gonna do like the cool strategic stuff? Okay, cool gameplay. Now you're gonna show, like, going to like an overhead view and being able to command your units. I wasn't paying attention. Wait, what? What, what is going on? Is okay, this the strategy so stuff? Like an action command system. Oh, I, I see. Seems like you can ch like set your teammates to use certain commands via that little menu. I see. I I don't. I, I it's, it's, it's like as much of a strategy game as Final Fantasy 15 is then. Yeah. I'm not playing an EA game, man. This is like I'm just I mean, not. I'll I'm not gonna touch this. Buy it. When it comes to Game Pass. I don't care. Oh. Yeah. I mean, yeah. If it's on something like that, like I guess you may as well. But it's. Uh, eesh. You know, ugh, yipes. I d th this whole like game preview as well that they paid probably like hundreds of thousands for is, is so. It's always really obnoxious when they do this because like I, I don't care. Sell me on the game in any other way. <laughs> yeah, showing a, a couple of people chipping a dragon for like a minute and a half isn't exactly the most. Yeah. Like, like I, don't, I don't feel any more convinced, I just feel significantly less convinced. Yeah, like, who is this for? Games are just Hollywood now. Like, I'm seeing uh, about the same level of mechanical depth as uh, Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, you know, that weird game that nobody <sighs> Yeah, I feel like that, uh, that is like, unfortunately, like... big enough that games are probably going to start replicating it. I hope not, but like... I don't know. Yee. The slot machine has started training itself on slot. Soon video yeah. games will be unconsumable. Get ready! Literally every RPG franchise is just an action game now. I mean, not all of them, but like, I don't know, they... Epic Games Publishing? Ooh, what could this be? Wait, Remedy? Oh yeah, this is Alan Wake, isn't it? The lake house. Probably. Epic Games published second. Oh, this is Fortnite too, actually. I just kept on driving. Wait, is this Control? Is this like a Control oh. DLC for Alan Wake? Oh. They like take place in the same universe or whatever, right? Maybe it's maybe it's just both. Probably both. That's nuts. 
Don't you love when uh, trailers are so dark that the YouTube encoding makes it look like dog piss every single time? Even at a high resolution? That's loud. Hi, bit right. Yeah, it's it, it's very funny. Yeah, Silver Violin Week 2. The Lake ah, House. Ah, I'm so scared. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. You got me. Oh, I'm just moved. Sorry, ah. I had a delayed response. What is this? VR2? They're still pushing the VR2. No one, oh, no one yeah. has one. No one owns one. I don't care. They're, they've been really pushing Hitman VR as like a killer app, and I don't think anybody really cares that much about it. Have they? I didn't even know that was a thing. I don't know. I've, I've seen plenty of sponsored videos of like, look at how much fun I had playing Hitman 2 in VR. Really? Geesh. Every More. time this trailer, they show somebody getting like soda out of a vending machine. I just think of the 700 Sprunk in GTA San Andreas incident. <laughs> Get Sprunked. I can't wait for that to happen with, uh, GTA 6. Yeah, GTA 6, I really hope it's janky for at least the first few months. It better be. Because it, it, having, like, a yeah. game with, like, two billion dollars invested into it... It would be, be so funny. Would just be hilarious. It would be so fucking funny. I would love if that happened. I also want to see Take-Two lose money because they're a terrible company. Me too! Oh my god, we have so much in common! Is Skylanders? Is it? I don't know, it's a, what? Huh? Oh no, this is a... Uh, this got leaked, I think. It was a uh, Legacy of Cain. Wow. They made it look HD. Kinda. It looks like a 3DS game. I mean, it's a PS2 game, I think. Right. Wow. But when you take like a PS2 game and all you do is increase the texture quality, it just makes yeah. it look like Ocarina of Time 3D. Yeah. It's I don't know, I, I this is like this is like a fucking like a fifteen year old gimmick at this point. Like it, it never really works that well. The future The lighting looks a lot flatter. Yeah, like it's just like, hey, look at this game that we stripped all of the art direction from and upscaled and changed the lighting just enough for it to be noticeably different in a way that makes it look more the remastered. Only, the only like retro remaster recently that I think had a coherent art design is the Tomb Raider remasters and I don't oh. even think they look cool. The Tomb Raider remasters were pretty good. Uh, uh, no, man. No, I'm switching tabs to this. Can we, can we keep talking about this? Wow, that's amazing. Can you believe they really announced Kingdom Hearts 4? Yeah, they really did. Wreck it, Randy. Um, yeah. Moanja. Mo uh, Moanja. Green. Wait, I'm trying to zoom the in. The Revengers. The Revengers. Oh, yeah. The Wait, no, because that's... Okay, that's Green Sora. That's, that's Robot Sora. That's right, and they got a they got a girl crossover Sora. with the Maniacs. Yeah, that's Norwegian Sora. That's uh that's uh uh Com Sora. That's uh patriotism Sora. You see. No, I I, I can't see Sora being pa patriotic. I think he would just dismantle America if he ever got there. Yeah. He already has. Is it still going? Are they okay? Oh, thank, thank God. God. Oh, like a Fortnite has split screen now. It's marginally better. This mm. honestly, as a babysitter, this will be handy to me. Yeah. But also, I don't really care That's that cute. much about it. It's like an update thing to announce. Yeah. Like I it's, don't know. that being like, yay, this will be very convenient for me. But it's, it's something for like a state of play. Ugh. They've got to promote Next, somehow. I don't know. <gasps> oh, and Dynasty Warriors. New Musou game. Yippee. Do you think that the people will let them actually uh, have the combat look good? Guardian of 
What in Dynasty Warriors? I'm just being silly. Oh. I, I, I didn't know what you meant at first. I think they look pretty okay. I don't know. Yeah, I mostly had a problem with, uh... Like, I felt like with Hyrule Warriors, every attack looked like it barely connected, and yet it sent them absolutely <laughs> flying. I, I kind of love it for that, though. And even a lot of later ones. Yeah. I honestly really loved Hyrule Warriors. I played it for the first time this year. Uh, it's a very good game. I played I played the 3DS version specifically. Hey, why would you do that? Why would you do that? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's not like the game is portable. Wait, what? Oh, oh Hyrule Warriors. Yeah, it's on Switch. The actual game oh. is portable. Well, the Switch version came after the 3DS version, though. Right, but you said you played it last year. Oh. Well, this year, but I, 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 because I didn't have to buy the 3DS version. Like, you the, know what? Fair the Switch version is like a full priced Nintendo game, uh, but the 3DS version is like. You know, I could legally acquire everything's you know. free if, if you if you um acquire it via uh like completely legitimate means at a good yeah. time. Yeah. And you visit a wonderful place called the Letter uh yeah. store. Oh, Monster Hunter. Um yeah, I don't know. I also just I mean, because I could have played the Wii U version as well. I own the Wii U version, but the three DS version, like it has Linkle in it. You know what? Fair. Yeah. I recognize that for a second. Really? Oh. This is territory. We're intruders. Wow. I. I don't really have it in me to be excited for a new Monster Hunter game, mainly just because I barely scratched the surface of the last one that came out, and that's also like the only one that I've played, but I'm sure this is good for Monster Hunter fans. Yeah, I'm a pretty big Monster Hunter fan, and I can say this game's looking like it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. I was talking with, um... Like, very randomly, one of my sister's friends, who I met just, like, coincidentally, had a PS5 that they brought over to, like, her place because it, 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 they didn't have Wi-Fi at their own, at their own home. Uh, and so we talked about the PS5 and games that are coming out on it, and, and like, Final Fantasy VII Remake and Monster Hunter, because I said that I was into RPGs. Uh, and that was just like a weird interaction because it's it's the only time that I've met someone that owns a PS5. I've I've talked to him about it repeatedly, asking like, "Hey, you've been playing any good games?" And it was just he's always just like, uh, "What do you mean playing games on? It's a PS5, not a PS console." <laughs> yeah. It's a 4K Blu-ray player, I think. You're not supposed to play video games on there, you're just supposed to run tech demos with cool ray tracing. Yeah. To this date, I think the Matrix demo is the most substantial release on the PS5. But, oh yeah, that was a thing, wasn't it? Yeah, this game is looking really nice. It's seeming like it's it going to be the biggest Monster Hunter yet. It makes sense considering the last two games sold like a fucking ultra bajillion copies. I just feel like in my heart that Monster Hunter is a handheld series. Uh, I understand that. Which means that it's going to be on Switch too, hopefully. You know. Oh, it's definitely coming to Switch too. I, can, I can't see it not coming. Yeah. It's just too large of a home. You know, Switch. you know the Switch too. You know that that thing. 
All the rumors. Do you think they're gonna backport like Monster Hunter uh, World as like a bonus? Oh. I mean, they could. That would be. I imagine like. I'm if playing it handheld recently. It's really nice. Yeah. Nice. It's, it's a really um, handholdy game though. I was playing it with oh. my buddy, and we just kept having a bunch of conversations about like. Oh boy, I sure can't wait to get through this gameplay so I can get to another seven cutscenes before the next. Oh. <laughs> I, I haven't played Monster Hunter World. Uh, I've, I've only played Rise. And like, some yeah, of... Yeah, is incredibly hand -holdy and it locks you out from multiplayer content like constantly. Oh, that's so strange. That, it's not a series of missions, it's a series of cutscenes that occasionally have a mission between them. I see. Oh, this shit. And I'm saying that as somebody who loves the game. Yeah. Are all that stands in the way uh, yeah, I don't know. The, 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 definitely gonna be this game is coming out. This game is coming out on Switch, and I don't really know why. Lego iPhone. Um, no! 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 Damn it, no! I'm so sad now. Got it all in. Oh, I forgot to mention the pre-order. Hi everyone, I'm Kristen Zatani. We are so excited for everyone to get their hands on Lego Horizon Adventures when it launches on November 14th. Part of me wonders if uh if those costumes are gonna be in the Switch version, because that would be messed up. PlayStation stuff on because it's already a PlayStation. It's a PlayStation game on Switch. I can't get over that. That's so messed up. Oh, Horizon Remastered? This is real for a second. I'm pretty sure this is the thing that was like mainly leaked from this. It was like this and Days Gone Remastered, which I guess they're they're gonna announce like in a moment. Get the game and then ten years later play the same game. Yeah. Uh, the, it's stuttering so much. I don't know what's going on. I don't care. It's because the web player doesn't we'll actually have to PS5 render any of this. For nine ninety nine, you have to pay for it. Why? I think the only good time the, the Horizon series has been a, like a good deal was when they gave it away for free in 2020. Yeah, probably. It's, it's probably a new enough game, but like I... Wait, what is this? Xeon? This is Stellar Blade. Oh, Stellar Blade. Oh, this game. The, the, oh. It's the game with boobs. <laughs> yeah, the... the yeah. The Mega 64 game. But that's not all. What? Oh. Okay. Near Automata collaboration. Near Automata. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. I can't make fun of that. That's probably how you pronounce that. But like, Automata. Now let's talk about what's ahead. Automata, Pia. I I was thinking about playing more uh, Near Automata recently because I have the Switch version. Oh. These will be available to all PlayStation right. Plus members starting October 1st. No Tony Hawk, I don't care. If they uh, Meanwhile, our oh. library of PlayStation okay. Classics continues to grow. With oh, two more fan favorites. They're actually talking about PlayStation arriving later this year. They're actually Blood talking Owen, about this and Capcom's Dino Crisis. What? Oh, okay. No, oh. Fans know. Right, that, that wasn't as exciting as I Oh yeah, it was a crossover. Sorry, sorry, Bimbo. They 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 finally mentioned the like PS1, PS2 thing that they do, but they they used it to announce like two games without even showing them. They're bringing Monkey Ball. Oh, oh GameCube. What is this? What is this? Are they literally just announcing controllers? Yeah, they're just showing off the controllers. 
Are these are these new colors? Yeah. Oh, is this the PS5 Pro? Oh. See you later, Juliet. This is it's kind of it's kind of bumming me out too, but you know. It's it's less horrible when you're watching it with people, at least. Is this the PS5 Pro or the regular PS5? Hi everyone, I'm <gasps> there he is! We recently revealed the newest edition to there the is, Mark Sweeney. family, PS5 oh, no. Pro. Alongside I feel so bad for him. Showcasing the superior frame rates and improved graphics that the new console makes possible. It looks like he's going to start singing Pro, to me developers have access about to three uh, <laughs> his uh, struggles uh, emotionally with getting with women in the 90s. Upscale oh. That combined to bring Damn. Closer to realizing their unique Are you trying to say that he looks like a member of Weezer? Players to get their hands on PlayStation 5 yes. Pro when it <laughs> this November. <laughs> That's so mean. Games that are being enhanced for the new console. Oh, they're talking about enhanced games. Tell me he doesn't. Oh, Horizon Zero Dawn remastered, remastered. The Last of Us remastered, remastered. You know what I think they should do? They should what? remaster Shadow of the Colossus every single console generation at least twice. They should. That if if it was you know if they were, if they were renting that game, I wouldn't mind it so much, but. Oh, it's just Horizon. Of, uh, enhancements that nobody actually cares about. Yeah, uh, oh. Okay. Oh, Gran Turismo 7 looks better. That's awesome. It's not like Gran Turismo 6 on the uh, PlayStation 3. Apparently. Basically photo Whoa, Metal Gear. Um, apparently, Juliet went to, went to high school with a relative of, of Mark Cerny, which is fucked up. Do you think they just hired him because his name sounds like Sony? Yes. Um, no, I don't know, he was like, he was involved in like, Spyro, and uh, Sonic 2, and stuff. I, I, I don't know, he's like, historically like, a video game guy. Yeah, but also his name sounds like Sony. Mark Sony. Seeing Hogwarts Legacy in this list feels like that one image of uh, Drake with those like, uh, actual qualified people. <laughs> <laughs> Who invited this guy? Is this is this oh, man, days gone? Yeah, yeah. Is it is this the days gone announcement? Is this it? Oh, maybe not. What is Ghost of Tsushima? Ghost of Tsushima remastered? <laughs> no, no. Wow, ye. Side note, it's funny that Sucker Punch went from making like PS2 bargain bin platformers, Whoa. like frontline photo realistic action oh, games. Don't be mean to Sly Cooper. Like, what the hell? I never said they were bad. I just said that they were cheap. And now, I guess so. Every in here I mean, you could say that about like any PlayStation game, though. Or, like, well, first it was party. Like Twenty dollars new. Like when it came out, it was like. When it came out. Still think. I don't know. Maybe. Games just used to be cheaper. Twenty tens darkness on everything. See the the thing with the twenty ten or sorry twenty twenties darkness on everything is. Uh, these are meant to look good on like OLED HDR screens. But if you look at it on literally any other screen, it just doesn't really look that good. Like, it's like, oh. Alright. And like, on YouTube especially, like, I, I don't know why they keep promoting games like this. Oh yeah, it's Sucker yeah, Punch. Yeah, it's definitely something related to that, because it's Sucker Punch. Yeah. Why is it like cowboy music? Is it, is it going to be Ghost of Tsushima? You know, let's disregard talking about this. Let's talk about that bizarre game that was just announced by the Yakuza studio. Oh yeah, I, I'm surprised that they're not showing that on this actually. They, they, uh, they, they announced that, and also they announced uh, Yakuza on Switch for some reason. 
Both are really neat announcements, I think. Even if the uh, upcoming Yakuza game looks a little stupid. Like, yeah. it, it's stupid enough that I feel like it's just definitely going to be fun. I mean, they're all... Endless. Aren't they all kind of like that, though? Really? No, not all of them are like that. The oh. series has been leaning more stupid, but they've had, like, more serious entries to offset that. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, you have a game, like, an RPG about a guy's imagination. Yeah. And then you follow it up with, like, a heartbreaking story about a guy who has to leave his family behind. But, like, oh. right now... Ghost of Yote. Like, back back with different silly games. Yeah, it's Ghost of Tsushima, too. It's Ghost of Yote. Ghost of Yote is easier to say, at least. It's Ghost of Yeti. It's it's a video game. Okay. That's right. definitely one of the cooler announcements here. Like yeah. there's lots of things that like they had good trailers, but that's yeah. an exciting announcement. They announced a video game. Yeah, the PS5 is actually gonna have a game. It's gonna come to PC day one as well, but you know. Definitely. Uh uh. Why do you have to remind me? Um yeah, I don't know. It's it was, uh, um, yeah. Yakuza Dead Soul success. Yeah, the 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 new Yakuza game actually. Uh, there that was like the canon actual entry. That was like a fun little side game that I'm pretty sure just reused a lot of the stuff that they had for Binary oh, Domain. Right. I don't remember One what second. the exact timeline is. Either we'll Binary Domain took stuff from that game or vice versa. But it was just like a weird experiment. This is like a canonical game. This has been described as like a mainline canonical entry. And it's about one of the characters getting amnesia and becoming a swashbuckling pirate in the islands of Hawaii. Yeah, good. Uh, let's, let's check it out, by the way. I haven't actually watched the trailer. I also haven't really played any Yakuza games, but since we're talking about yeah, it... Yeah, we, we can watch the RGG Summit. Uh, uh actually, there's probably better translations on the individual... Nah, let's watch this. So oh, I mean, good. this is official, isn't it? Yeah. It's just, it was uh, live transcribed, so it's a little awkward. They only had two people, oh, really? so most of the guys were voiced by girls. Oh, shit. It's kind of funny. The subtitles, though. Yeah, the subtitles. Do you watch your RGG Summit sub or dub? <laughs> Wait, let me turn it up. It's like, I don't play these games, I just want to see what this is all about. It's been a lot of game news recently, uh, because of Tokyo Game Show, I think. Between this and the state of play and, like, there was a level 5 thing today as well, which I might also talk about. This is like, you know, this is this is the real video games. Like there he is. <laughs> I've really, like, I've really got to play these games. I really need to. They're so good. Like, even if they're not super streamable, yeah. you should, like, like, stream it to me individually. Let's just have a call, <laughs> you play it, I comment on it. Real? If you don't have an audience to entertain, let's just blow through them. Real, That'll real. I, I mean, I have once it too, like... Because I could make a video about it, but then like a million people have made videos about like playing Yakuza for the first time, so I wouldn't really need to make a project out of it. I just need to play right, these games. Perspective. Hmm? You have a unique perspective to bring to it. Oh yeah, but so does everyone. I don't know, it's... I'd have to like, find a unique angle, I guess. <laughs> what do you mean? It's like I'm I'm watching this like without the context of anything that happened in the games. 
Uh, no, there's nothing to set this up, don't worry. Oh, okay. Oh. I like how the audio just isn't synced at all. Pirate DLC. Wait, this isn't this isn't DLC though. This is a whole ass game. This is just a straight up new video game. Yeah. Wouldn't it be so funny if this is a launch title for a for, for the Switch successor? I mean, I would be down for that. I'm just thinking of like new games that are coming out, like because there's a lot of random ones that they could just say like, oh yeah, this is coming to the Switch successor. It is a whole ass game. In fact, it is not just DLC. I think it reuses assets from the most recent game, but it's still like a spin-off. Every single Yakuza game reuses assets, that's how oh. they form the so fast. That makes sense, yeah. The way that the development is handled is less like a normal game, where they want to throw at everything and remake it at a higher level in fidelity. Yeah. And it's more so handled like an episodic series, and they gradually in increase its budget or make a new set. But it's still ultimately going to be a lot of the same thing. So yeah. Shoot to shoot. I respect it massively for that. Yeah, this is a long ass trailer, by the way. I'm I'm only just realizing this is like. Wow, wow, wow. It's not all of the game. A solid bit of it is spent talking about the upcoming series. Oh yeah. No, I know, but like it's 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 just kind of like getting like how long this trailer is. I guess I just like check it out. Oh, that's funky. I find it funny that because it's Japanese, everyone speaks Japanese. Regardless of the fact that they're in Hawaii. A weird new Mario game. Mario Jama. <laughs> Imagine a white kid, like it's just like a, a white a white child coming up to you and going Sugoine. <laughs> Madlantis. Holy, oh, this is just actual video games. My god. Atlantis. I'm not really like, cause like I'm I'm not really sure like so much about what I could say about this. It's just a really nice palate cleanser after after the state of play. It's like wow. Yeah, it's like it's an actual video game. Yeah. Like it would be fun to play. Yeah. Uh, it's it's shocker. Four and Xbox One. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Shocker. It's a video game that knows that it's fun. It's insane. Oh wow. It's just like One Piece. <laughs> oh my god, our jokes from the stream loop back around. Oh my I god! I spent the whole time joking about how Kiryu was looking after the One Piece. I forgot about that. One Piece. Holy shit. And now they're coming aboard and bringing along their hopes and dreams. Wow. They're gonna find what they're looking for. I, I can't believe how well my a million One Piece jokes. Actually, <laughs> yeah, we, we actually we predicted it. I completely <laughs> forgot about that.
What a wordy name. Like a dragon yeah. pirate yacht in Hawaii. I think the like this is like the English title, but the uh the, the Japanese name is just Pirates in Hawaii. Uh, Okay, it makes wait. sense they want to keep the, the word Yakuza in there. Skip yeah. forward to the part where they show off the mini games. Oh, the mini games? Is that what this is? This is the showing off the voice actors. Skip oh, right, yeah. A bit more. Yeah. Isn't like. <laughs> fucking like Samojo is in here or whatever? Let's go ahead and. Uh, wait, okay, so this. The. For the first time, Are these the mini games? No, skip forward a bit. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. It's just showing off the fighting styles. I see. More to see. And then it's like a minute up so here. You'll be able so to like find right here. Treasure Island okay. You saw Crazy Delivery, which was first introduced in Infinite Wealth, where you... Oh my god, they have karaoke. Like pizza. And onigiri. And we did, uh, we added new courses. And of course we have a Dragon Kart, which is like a racing minigame, and now we have a, a Hawaii <laughs> course. That has oh boy. Is this the part where they actually so show you can the drive at high speeds and enjoy driving gameplay? Is this the part of the what? Uh, is this the part where they actually show off the trailer? I don't know. Maybe just search up the trailer separately. Is there a minigame trailer? Yeah. Oh, I see. Uh, I mean, there's also there there is also a trailer for the um the Switch port of Yakuza, and it like it looks weirdly good. Trailer. It is a very silly trailer. I'm not gonna like. I'm gonna I'm speed sure it up. The actor who is playing uh like one of the plot important characters in uh like a Dragon Gaiden. Oh, that's pretty funny. Uh, yeah, it's like. Oh. Pulls a bat on his son. I'm not gonna like watch the whole thing. I just wanna. <laughs> I wanna. I wanna talk about like how weirdly like because like I. It is like a PS3 game running on the Switch, so it's like not really a surprise that it looks good, but it is. Oh, wait. It is like kind of surprising that it doesn't. It doesn't look terrible for Switch. Right, it's like, like 1080p, 60 FPS, and it looks beautiful. Yeah, well, I mean, this isn't really. The, the bitrate is not doing it any favors, but like, it looks better than, like, the average Switch, Switch port of a game like this. Which is just kind of surprising. It mostly, has to do, it mostly has to do with the fact that the game is just incredibly well optimized in general. Yeah, probably. It's, it's just, I don't know, it's surprising. Because, like, I'm pretty sure, like, the initial uh, reveal from the Nintendo Direct was, like, it looked Switch-ish. And now the footage that they're showing is kind of more refined. I don't know. They probably just took PS3 footage as like a placeholder and then this was actually an engine. Oh, maybe. No, I don't know. They probably have like regulations about that. I don't know. Oh, yeah. they're, they're, they're... All right, now let's back out and watch the minigame trailer. Yeah. Uh, wait, there, there's like a live action show as well. I don't know what the hell. I don't know what's going on with the live action thing. It's very strange. Oh. Very weird. I don't it's know. It's got a weirdly high budget for streaming, it looks like, but it does look like it's just gonna be a series adapting the story and nothing insane. Yeah. Uh, what is it? The, wait. Pirates in Hawaii. Uh, what is it a mini game trailer? Oh, this. Oh. Wait, no. What, what, what is this channel name? Gamers Prey? Gamers Prey. Oh. Uh. Oh boy, this bit right. Oh. Oh wow. I mean, yeah. Looks pretty good. Gotta love that they, sh they show off, like, cross-dressing Mario Kart. <laughs> And like crazy taxi on a bike. Mario Chima is real. And randomly they tease like some kind of love mini game. Yeah. Is that gonna be like a dating sim? Oh my god, why why is Arlo in in my recommendations? This is this is horrifying. 
If I was caught anywhere near that puppet, I would uh, stomp on it and it was a small boot stain. <laughs> if I saw that puppet in my living room, I would step on it until it was a small blue stain. Um, <laughs> there was also um, the level 5 vision thing. I don't know what was up with this, but it was like a whole... Like, okay, like... So, I mean, Boots, you're, f you're familiar with, like, Yokai Watch, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, uh, they, level 5 did this presentation, like, earlier today, and they, like, I don't know, like, confirmed that some stuff is still in development, like, they, they revealed more stuff about the new Layton game, and it looks pretty good. I'm pretty uh, excited for a new Layton, I think we're pretty well overdue, there hasn't been many good puzzle games outside of the indie space. Yeah, it, I, I think it looks really good, like, look at this, like, whoa. You know? I'd be surprised if it didn't look good. This series has always had beautiful yeah. art direction. I mean, the thing is, like, it's it's like entirely 3D now, which is a little yeah. It's wild. like a Neo Toei situation where it it has like an exaggerated world, but they pull it off fully in 3D, which yeah. I always find impressive. Yeah. By the way, uh, you watching this right now? Mm -hmm. Play Neo Toei. Oh, true. I I I've, I just go play it. I kind of need to at some point eventually. Maybe. Possibly. Uh, it's insane, they made this incredibly clamored for a sequel, and I barely see people talking about it, even though it kicks ass. Yeah, I, I don't really know what happened. I think the marketing just wasn't really there for it. Uh, yeah, so wait, uh, there's Layton, this actually, I, I kind of just want to watch this, this is really good. This looks really good. It's just kind of worrying that it's entirely 3D, like even the cutscenes. Is that the the animation from the original games is really good. I'm not really that upset because I still think that 3D can be a fantastic tool for video games. Yeah, no, it, I'm, I'm not denying that it is. I just I don't know if the art style translates the best, but they they are still working on it, so I don't know. Yeah, I can see them reasonably overhauling a few things. Yeah. Not even seven puzzles, not bad. I'm also kind of... Uh... You know, I think the only big prolific puzzle game recently has been that one... Uh, hey, you want to play those games, right? Well, oh. here you go. Now let's you beat them. Yeah, those are really good. I, I don't know if that really counts as a... I guess they're puzzle games. We just need more, like, DS-style games. Oh yeah, 100%. The death of the 3DS was the death of, like, happiness. Yeah. It was the death of Yokai I mean, Watch. And... When was the last time you thought of Pocket Card Jockey? I never played Pocket Card Jockey. Oh. Um, wait, let it's me really find cool. this. It's genuinely the most fun poker game I've played. Damn, I, well, I, I haven't this played stuff. it. I'm still really excited for Dragon Ball Dima. That's not a game, but like, oh, still, it's just a really nice announcement. I'm not, I'm not like a Dragon Ball person, but uh, it's it's interesting that they're still doing stuff. Yeah, that was the last series that the creator worked on. It was, uh, it, it's just a little mm. spin-off anime about like, uh, th there's like an enemy who turns them all into kids, and then it's like a throwback to the original Dragon Ball style. I see. Um, wait, okay, so they, they, they like showed off a bunch of stuff. There's like a fantasy life thing back here, and then there's Layton, and then there's a uh, Deco police uh, being delayed. Yes, unimaginably back. Yeah. Delayed. Uh, there's a, a Mega Robo. I, I, I don't really know what's up with that. There's a new Inazuma 11 game again. Uh, I don't and. Know what that is. Inazuma Eleven. I've never heard of it. Oh, it's it's a level five uh football RPG. Football or, RPG. Soccer. That sounds pretty good. Soccer RPG. I love kicking the balls. But like the the thing is like after after Inazuma Eleven they they started talking about something that's meant to be like a successor to Yokai Watch, and that's concerning.
they just say concept next yokai watch. It's called Holy Horror Mansion. And it's called a dancing fellow in the corner. And there's this dance, there's concept dances. So it's like yokai, but they but they dance, which is like okay, all right. What year is it right now? So I guess the general kind of vibe they want to hit with this is it's kind of like a whimsical haunted mansion type deal. Yeah. Uh. I, I, do you remember this yeah, guy? If there's nothing else, it's going to be fun. Also, yes, I remember it. Yeah, I played okay. the Psycho series a lot in the Switch entry. Mm -hmm. Made PPAP one of its songs. Oh. So unfortunately, every time I boot up that game, I'm reminded that Pen Pineapple Apple Pen existed. Is it like unlockable? I don't have that. In Tycho. I, I, I don't think it's unlockable. I think it's uh, only in Drum and Fun. I have Drum and Fun. Oh, really? I'd have to look and see. I might be wrong. What if you like? Maybe you missed it. Did you like buy the DLC that has Pen Pineapple Apple Pen? I think I downloaded everything that was free without checking exactly what it was. Right. So I mean, I did that too. Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, anyway, well, so... I think you're probably just forgetting it then. No, I've, I've played it recently. I don't know. Um, but they, they made a yokai based on this guy. That's actually a really neat idea. Yeah, I mean, it's cute. Nothing else. It's gonna be very you, like, craft the yokai or whatever. I'm just... Imagine they had all of these different, like, uh, like, regional artists and they just randomly threw an Eminem. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Like, the thing is, it doesn't- I don't think it looks bad. It looks pretty good. I'm just confused. They're, like, replacing Yokai Watch and they're making it into something that's, like, tangentially, like, kind of similar. I just- It's strange. I don't know. It's unusual. But like, I mean, it doesn't really look that bad. I'm... Oh yeah, no, not at all. I don't know. 
my amount of energy at the start put me off for a second, but once I eased into it, it's yeah. seems really positive. I mean, yeah, the... yeah. It's definitely more inspired than the original concept for Yokai Watch. That is true. Yokai Watch was always, like... It was always very, like, kind of... a little bit cringy. But, like, look at this! Release date! Yeah. Who knows? Yokai Watch wasn't that bad. But I think that the way that they skewed it wasn't very good. Or is this a better concept to skew in that direction? Yeah, uh, but they're, they're like platform Who secret knows? release date. Who knows? Price, Price fair. fair. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's just like no plan. But they already have like branding and stuff. Like, not that soon. Like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Why are you, like, going around, like, announcing new games? What are you doing? Ghostcraft RPG. ホーリーホラーマンションです。コーリーホラーマンションです。コーリーホラーマンションです。コーリーホラーマンションです。コーリーホラーマンションです。コーリーホラーマンションです。コーリーホラーマンションです。コーリーホラーマンションです。コーリ
It just says Nintendo Switch in the corner. It's coming out next year. I think this was like initially said to be like a 2023 release though, which is why this is sort of generally like a little bit worrying because wh why have they delayed stuff so much? What is going on? Uh, they've released one, two games since since their like supposed revival, uh, and it was just Megaton Musashi and uh, Inazuma Eleven, and they announced like ten games at once, and they're all in development at the same time. So I don't really know what's going on over there. I just wanted to talk about this because it's a game news thing that people aren't really talking about as much, uh, and it's it's just like. It's strange. I don't know what what they're doing over here is very strange. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't That's know. Cool. It's 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 something. Uh, it's still more interesting than the state of play. I will say. I I already forgot everything that they showed at the state of play. Um, well, yeah. I'd say all the announcements recently. Like, it gives me a decent bit to be optimistic for for the upcoming year, but there's still a lot of individual announcements that kind of fall flat. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop the stream, though. I'm gonna end the stream. Because, yeah, it's uh, a good time. It's been a fun stream. Thank Let's you. shut her down. I'm gonna get out of here. Who here?